In this video, we will be installing the Flexco RBP-1 belt positioner. Before starting the installation, we will confirm we have all the belt positioner components, IOM packet, and all the required tools. Then once the conveyor has been physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. So the first step when installing the RBP-1 belt positioner is we're gonna remove our mounting brackets from their shipping position into the installation position. When installing the mounting brackets, you can put them in, in the up position or down position, just to depending on how much clearance you have. Then we'll repeat this on the other side. Our next step to install the RBP-1 is to locate where on the structure we're going we're to install the unit. Keeping in mind that we want the unit at least three feet away from the nearest return roller and no further away than six feet. We found a place on our structure here. We've got a return roller here. And it's going to fall within that uh, criteria. So using our general location that we found earlier to install our positioner, we want to measure from a fixed point on each side of the structure to get an exact location before we burn holes or drill our holes. We want our unit to be perfectly square. So our next step, we're going to measure inside to inside of the conveyor frame to determine how we're going to preset our tracker. 42 and 3 quarters. So now taking that 42 and 3 quarters that we measured between the, our conveyor frame, we're going to preset the positioner for easy installation. To do that, we're going to loosen these four jam nuts and the set bolt. to the 42 and 3 quarters. Our center supports, we want to keep them centered for maximum uh, strength. There's a black line for you to reference. Now that we have the unit properly uh, positioned, we'll, we'll re-tighten our set bolts and jam nuts. And now we're ready to install the unit. Now we're going to install our, our bolts, then we're going to go back and we're going to confirm from those fixed points on each side to make sure that the unit is totally square. As we installed our positioner, we realized that with our mounting brackets in this position, we don't have enough adjustment to make contact with the belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip these brackets to give us further adjustment. Now that we've got our unit installed and all the fasteners tightened, we're ready to make our final adjustments. What we're going to do is first loosen these nuts on the back of our mounting bracket. That will allow our positioner to slide up and down in this track. So what we're looking for, on the side the belt is walking to, we're looking for six inches of contact between the roller and the belt. On the off side, we're looking for approximately four inches of contact between the roller and the belt. After we achieve that, We'll go back and we'll tighten our nuts down and we've made our final adjustments. If, if it's not, if it's off a little bit, what we're going to do is gently tap
until we have our six inches of contact. Then we'll tighten the nuts. If the desired results were not achieved with the initial setup, incremental adjustments can be made by increasing the roller to belt contact on the side the belt is walking to, and if necessary, decreasing on the offside. We've now completed the installation of the RBP1 belt position.